Okay y'all, so for this video we getting up close and personal talking about some things that a lot of people, I keep saying a lot of people, but I know, like I know what's happening out there. So if it happened to me and the thoughts ran across my mind during the experiences I had, I know someone out there could use comfort or just words to know that you don't have to be so hard on yourself. So basically this video is about if as you can see from the title, if you're feeling ashamed about being a virgin, about being single, or just never having been on a date before, because although I'm not all three categories, two out of three, I could say count in. It's still, sometimes it can still feel bad when you're not getting the experiences that you want and you see other people capable of having it. It's like, what am I doing differently? or what could be wrong with me that I haven't been able to, you know, experience those things. And what I really, sorry, ugh, sorry, what I wanted to say is that just because you haven't had those experiences doesn't mean that you're never going to have them. And it doesn't automatically mean that they won't happen. And a lot of times we can be like very hard on ourselves and very black and white and we'll think, oh, well, this didn't happen, so it means I'm not good enough. This didn't happen, so it means I can't ever get in a relationship. Like, we'll be quick to jump to the assumption ne in a negative way, but we won't go so far as to assume things in the positive. Like, oh, yeah, this is working out for me. This could turn right around, or this or something better is coming along. And um, it also doesn't mean that you should invalidate the experiences that you've had meaning like if you haven't dated anyone if you haven't lost your virginity yet like it doesn't mean that you need to compare your journey to anybody else's like you just have to look at the facts the facts are you either still are virgin or you're not the facts are you're still single or you're not the facts are you've never been on an official date like you might have been with people but for whatever reason they never took you out and it just never been an experience that you had like in terms of just being treated the way that you desired you know being cared for loved on appreciated etc depending on your love language or whatever but um it's just being able to look at those facts like okay i may maybe i never had those experiences but it has nothing to do with who i am as a person it doesn't mean that it's never going to happen it doesn't mean i'm not worth it it doesn't mean i can't ever have it it just means that you might have placed those negative interpretations on it but the fact of the matter is okay you're just someone who hasn't had that experience that's it it doesn't mean anything about your character about the type of person you are about how you need to react or handle yourself in situations because I know from my experience I've still felt like very nervous and anxiety around people that I like and even if they're the most down-to-earth person, I'm still putting them on a pedestal where it feels like they're somehow better than me, almost in a way that they're like kind of unattainable. Even when they clearly show that they're interested in you, you'll still find ways to sabotage and be like, you know, I'm not sure about this. Or even when they start off doing good things for you and you're still putting doubt on the situation it's like you get what you want and you're still not happy that's when you know like okay i need to really look at myself here because no matter if i get the thing or if i don't i'm still feeling crappy about it how can i change my self-concept to be more accepting of these things now i'm not going to talk about that completely in the video but i'm just going to go back to all the topics that were in the title and you're gonna see that in the next clip it might have a little intro because originally I recorded this next part first and then added this beginning intro after everything else was recorded but the video is probably gonna be like a half an hour so I would say get comfortable get some wine get a drink or something just relax and you know just hope you enjoy the video if you have any comments or any suggestions in terms of giving people advice feel free to leave it below also um just remember this is a safe space for people to feel encouraged and comfortable so to be in a vulnerable vulnerable place like this putting it out online just remember to be kind and use kind words and if you don't have nothing good to say then keep scrolling you don't have to watch the video but um yeah i think we could get right into the video and i hope you guys enjoy the content and yeah let's go 
Okay, so I lied. I added this before. I'm going to show you the main part of the video. What I really wanted to say is, as far as it comes to, like, dating, I feel like, at least from my experience, it felt like it's never been something that I have had. Like, obviously, there's been place, situations where the opportunity came up, but for whatever reason, I would end up backing off or the person would end up backing off and it never really go anywhere. And I think it's really just because sometimes when you're not really completely secure in yourself, you'll feel afraid to, to go through those experiences, even though it's something that you say that you want. So it can be very confusing because it's like, why am I so afraid of having the very thing that I say I want to experience? So what I could tell you is that um, you don't have to be afraid to be happy, like to get the things that you feel you deserve. Like it's really something that you kind of have to practice within yourself, just feeling grounded and feeling comfortable with accepting the things that you desire. Um, but yeah, just that's just been my experience in terms of dating. Like it's always felt very intimidating. And then you always see people talking about, oh, well, you can't get what you want or the dating pool out there is so bad. So it's like you kind of end up just falling for like situations just to have some contact over none at all. But then there comes a point where even those situations become tiresome and that's no longer good enough. And then you're like, okay, well, I don't want to do that anymore now. Like, even if I'm not looking for the end goal of a family and marriage, I still feel like I want to have somebody that I could just, you know, hang out with, someone to look forward to seeing every day. So it's just like things like that. You're not even asking for a whole lot. I'm sorry, where am I? It's kind of dark, so you're not going to see me. And this damn air freshener keep falling out. But um, anyways... Yeah, I feel like, sorry, I just feel like you don't have to be so anal and so anxious and trying to get all the details. Like, you can just take it a day at a time and just allow yourself to be in the moment. If you're going to talk to someone, just enjoy the conversation. If you're going to hang out with them, just be in the moment and do those activities. But then don't ruin it by, you know, worrying about the future that isn't even there yet like be in the moment i think if you could do that then it'll be a lot easier to enjoy the situations that you have with people and the company that you keep so now i'm gonna get into the main part of the video and maybe i'll just do another video on this topic in general just depending on the feedback i'm gonna put the video out and you know hopefully it can get enough views to where we really get some conversation started and then with the feedback that I get we'll see what to talk about next so sorry about the lights in the background I know it's a little distracting I kind of lean over and block one of them out at least so as you can see from the title we're getting a little personal today I'm sorry I keep looking over there when the camera is here eye contact but yeah we're getting a little up close and personal today so as you can see from the title, it's um, whether you're still a virgin, whether you're single, or you've never had a date, you don't have to feel ashamed. And there's so many stigmas around all of those categories that people are really judgmental or form opinions about people for having those choices. And that, obviously, depending on our environments, we don't really have much of a say. It's just kind of been our experience in life that never really granted us those opportunities to do those things. Or maybe it's a personal choice to not act upon those things because you haven't really found that connection with the person. So first, I want to talk about being a virgin. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing for waiting for that special someone, waiting for that connection, that genuine relationship with somebody, because a lot of times people out there don't really stay true to their intentions. First of all, they don't really know what they actually want, and they're just out here living from their ego, satisfying whatever physical needs, but on a deeper level, 
they actually want a relationship or they want that deeper connection but they're afraid because they either don't think it's possible it's not been their experience so they're kind of afraid of the very thing that they actually want and on the surface or in interactions with you they might reject you for being like oh well I'm not giving myself up until I'm married or I'm just waiting for the right person type of thing whether whatever the circumstances are and then they'll kind of judge you or make you feel guilty pressure you and the truth is nobody can pressure you if you're true to what you want and who you are unapologetically so don't try to feel like your virginity has to be a bargaining chip for people to how to have their way with you or take advantage you might have thought you were in love and lost it or you might have just had that first time experience and then been ghosted or just hurt or whatever so now it's like your sexuality is something that you feel discomfort with and um because that i kind of had a experience that made me feel unworthy and since then just even getting to know people has always been something awkward and uncomfortable because you feel like you're kind of afraid or nervous about the people that you're interested in and it doesn't feel easy to connect because in the back of your mind you're worried about rejection or feeling ashamed like somehow you're not good enough um the same thing with obviously being single a lot of people give that a bad rap and automatically assume that being single means that you have to feel lonely or that you have to feel bad about it or there's something wrong with you for being single as if whatever flaws you might have are the reason for that when there really are no reasons for it now if you don't have the confidence in yourself to have those desired experiences and you tend to have a pattern of negative experiences that could be a deterrent but if you're not in the awareness of why you keep repeating that or what exactly do you define in relationships that equal you continuing to get things that you don't want versus what you want like it takes a lot of at least awareness and self-reflection to see those things instead of judging yourself for the experiences you've had but you can be single by choice you can be happy whether you're single or not a relationship doesn't have to be your identity and i think that's the mistake that people make like when they think that being a girlfriend or boyfriend or being a wife or a husband no matter the cost is something that has to be part of your identity or else you won't be fulfilled then you end up having these relationships where you're not genuinely with somebody that you want to be with and they're not treating you the way that you actually deserve to be treated but you're settling for it because you feel like you need to have this as part of your identity even if it's not all the things that you actually want and most times people don't feel like they could have their dream relationship or it's not even a possibility which is why they end up going through experiences that don't fulfill or satisfy the things that they actually want or never having been on a date now personally I haven't had one and it's not necessarily by choice I just think just having the mindset of not being fully secure and feeling kind of afraid of you know getting to know people has kind of just caused me to settle for way less than that and I feel like just identifying as someone who doesn't feel like they're worth that or you see like your experiences are kind of telling you that and you kind of get stuck in a cycle of expecting less than what you even desire or what you think is possible or even sabotaging yourself because you could get close to situations where people are like oh yeah let's go out blah 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 but you'll find a way to sabotage it if you don't think you're worthy or you're not good enough so never having had a date or having people that do just basic things like opening the door this conversation someone that you feel comfortable hanging out with going out on dates traveling together like those basic experiences like a lot of people will sit there and try to make that seem like that's doing too much or maybe they don't want to do anything that resembles like having an emotional connection with somebody but there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like if you're not able to hopefully it's not too loud I'm about to turn the heat on but if you're not able to clearly define what you want and then not waver away from it it can um it can cause you to just settle for a lifestyle where you're not actually getting the things that you want and you're willing to allow people just treat you any kind of way 
and I feel like we that has to be done in a way with like you can take yourself out on dates and treat yourself the way that you want to be treated at least until someone comes in and fills that spot so that's kind of what inspired me to do the solo date and you know do solo travel because if you end up waiting for other people you end up never really going anywhere especially if you don't have a whole social circle to depend on like I don't I just decided to open up my mindset about what friendship means to me while developing that definition that understanding on how to relate to people I'm gonna be my own best friend because a lot of times we're rejecting ourselves we're not friends to our own self and then we're wondering why people don't treat us the way that we want to be treated well how people treat you kind of is a reflection of how you treat yourself so the best place to start is develop a good relationship with yourself love on yourself you know give yourself a confidence boost do whatever you need to do to be your hype man be your own best friend so that you at least know how to give yourself that reassurance so now i'm just going to read some notes that i had written down like um basically like as long as you value yourself and you be true to who you are you'll find someone that does the same and it'll be willingly it's not going to be something you have to argue for or um you know beg somebody to treat you right like no that person is going to want to do it because it's just natural to them like you just evoke that from them and they want to do it um so also like you're you're attractive for being you so own your uniqueness like we feel like most times our attractiveness is something that we have to change or bend over backwards to make someone approve when if you would just own who you are and validate yourself you would realize that there's someone out there who's looking for someone that has all that you are already so it's not about changing yourself to fit and make somebody else see the good in you no be who you are see the good in yourself that way someone who's looking for those very things can find you because with all these people on the planet there are people who are looking for friends just like you lovers just like you relationships whatever it is and you're here thinking that you're not good enough or that you need to do things like jumping through hoops in order to find the one that you want that's the only reason that you continue to go through that is because you think that's what it takes but there's really no requirements to be ready for that like you could always grow together with the person you don't have to sit there and try to work on all the flaws and feel like you're not quite there yet um so yeah, like I said, there's nothing to change. There's no need to rush. Like your pace is your own pace. So don't let anybody pressure you about why are you still single? Why don't you have a family? Why don't you have kids? Like you set your own pace and you'll find somebody who's on that same page. So I think it's just having that expectation that you can want what you want and find somebody who wants the same thing as long as you're in that intention and you rest in that just like a knowing like this is what I want. I know someone out there wants exactly the same thing and they're waiting for me to step into that so that they could find me and it could be somebody already in your life that changes or you could stumble across that person because you're finally in that acceptance or that expectation that this does exist for me so now I'm seeing it out there. Um, so, yeah, um, you're good enough already for the right person. So you might not have been meeting the right people or because you had that assumption that the right person doesn't exist, you're here feeling like you're not good enough when the case is, like I said before, you're good enough already and someone is looking for you exactly so until you believe that and see that about yourself you're gonna be sitting around thinking like you need to wait or do something different when there's nothing for you to do like you're worthy of love as you are right here right now so nobody's gonna need to challenge your timeline like the person that's right for you they're not gonna challenge the things that you desire they'll be on the same page have the same intentions so um, yeah and then like I had just the thought like not that long ago people were wait like valuing people just based on their own virtues like being intact like, so obviously having your virginity was a commodity in certain ages where they would you know give their daughters away 
and the family will receive whatever riches or you know whatever money economically and it'll kind of be like an exchange for status and just thinking about that people have put this pressure on a woman to be such a virtuous thing meanwhile the male can go out and do whatever they want and they would get you know things that help their image but it was really based on being transactional and i feel like a lot of relationships are still basing things off things being transactional what do you bring to the table or sex being used as something as a transaction when it's not really composed of you know the love and the acceptance and you know the trust and the true deep connection like if you're looking for that um so yeah, that's, I was just thinking about those types of courtship practices, and obviously people still have arranged marriages nowadays, but um, society has imposed so many different ways of placing value on a person, whether it's males being the provider or the female, you know, giving her body and, you know, just being a mother to kids and raising them, just these different standards that people have, and it kind of made us lose sight of our natural values outside of those things like our values just for being born as the person that we are um so yeah like, like i was saying your value doesn't really come from your body or your sexuality your ability to reproduce or even sexual satisfaction can be determined by the individual it doesn't have to be something like oh you have this body count or you could do this that whatever it's really up to you and your partner if that person can stimulate your mind and really make you feel attractive and you have this deep connection this trust so many of those things are really what that attraction is about or it's you being able to see a person with a certain perception where you're willing to connect on that level and really be present in the moment um so like yeah they see i was like in my eyes it's kind of like that satisfaction is really the result of having that emotional and mental connection because you have to be you know obviously excited about somebody obviously your body is doing whatever it does and it's making you you know be ready for that moment but you know it just some people are okay with being just physical so if that's what you want that's fine but if you want more than that and you actually want love and you feel like that love is something that's going to enhance the sexual experience then obviously you're going to have to be able to have those connections with someone to really make things allow you to feel comfortable to express yourself and do whatever you're going to do to that person and then you can really enjoy it and have like you know mind-blowing experiences or whatever but I feel like basically the audience for this video, a lot of us will struggle with getting to that point if that's something that you haven't even done before, it's something that you're waiting to, you know, experience with the right person. It's going to be going against those that group of people that is more like ego based, more just that physical need to do whatever and not really comfortable, you know, exploring the deeper meaning between things to have a deeper connection. Like, um, I, like, I think at least in the male experience, it's definitely like, I feel like it can be considered like a proof of manhood to be able to do whatever and have all these women and stuff like that. But not everybody's into that. Not everybody feels the satisfaction. Or you could go through that stage being in the streets and then grow tired of it. Or you could never grow tired of it. Like, it's not really the purpose of trying to judge anybody for their lifestyle. But it's more towards people who feel like that's not really what they want. But that's all you kind of find out there. So it can be discouraging to feel like you're going to get the happy ending that you want or at least be comfortable with your sexuality to have those good experiences and not get heartbroken or used or taken advantage of um oh yeah so i kind of talked about how there's some of those double standards and you know like having a high body count for a guy could be a pat on the back or something to talk about meanwhile if it's a a woman or someone another gender being promiscuous it could be just being judged and it'll be something bad versus something you know to be talked about um 
So the whole point is that everybody has an opinion on it, but you kind of have to understand your values and your opinions and not waver. Like people could have the other opinions and that could still exist, but it doesn't have to compromise your morals, your values, and whatever you have for your virtues. You really just kind of have to be able to, you know, weed out the people who have different standards without placing judgment or shame on the other person or on yourself because there's nothing wrong with that you just be like okay well this isn't what I want so you know it was nice talking to you but we don't even have to go there type of thing and it doesn't have to be like something where they'll start saying negative things about you because you rejected them like a lot of people will feel offended but it's not anything wrong with people having other you know desires and intentions if anything it saves you the headache of you know, someone catching feelings or having a heartbreak or whatever because they weren't honest about what they actually want. Most people are afraid to to get what they want. They don't think it's, it exists or it's even possible. So they'll just settle for things and then get mad because they decided to stay in a situation they never wanted to be in to begin with or they're too afraid to leave a relationship or whatever the situation might be. Um... But yeah, I think what I was saying is that everyone will have an opinion of what makes a person attractive and it's only your job to decide what applies to you. No one can pressure you on what to do with your body because that only results in resentment, regret, feelings of unworthiness and so much more. And also like when you haven't cr crossed that threshold of, you know, your virginity or whatever or dating, it's almost like that cycle where People say, oh, you can't get a job because you need experience, but it's like if nobody's willing to hire you, how do you get experience? Same thing with losing your virginity. Like, unless people actually give you, like, that in-depth sex ed and, you know, teach you things, it's no one really goes out there to tell you, oh, this is how you do that. You kind of just learn by trial and error, and it's obviously something that's built into us, so, you know, we we do know what to do. But I feel like until you're on that wavelength of I trust this person and I feel comfortable enough to explore this and you don't feel kind of nervous about it, it can make the first experiences, you know, not feel enjoyable or you feel like you're just going through the motions because you're not even really connecting with the people that you meet, especially if you're waiting before you have those intimate moments. But you have to have like trust you know a level of comfort with people and that's something that takes time to nurture if that's what you desire i mean if you decided you just want to do whatever then that's out there too but for those of us who are wanting to have a connection that companionship mixed in with that we don't have to be afraid to ask for that we just have to stand in who we are as someone who's worthy of that as someone who can get that even if you haven't physically had that experience yet it's kind of like having this eager anticipation for it even if the opportunity hasn't come up yet but it doesn't something it's not something that makes you feel like you have to judge yourself or feel bad that the experience hasn't become available just yet you kind of just have to take each experience for what it is and kind of learn something about yourself as you go along so if you do decide to date get to know a person see what likes and dislikes like obviously love is unconditional so it's really about having the opportunity to express that unconditional love with another person let, let it, letting them be your mirror so you see the things in yourself that you need to let go of what you need to work on and who you are in relationship to that person not just what that person needs to do you know to to meet you halfway in a relationship or whatever the situation is um so yeah like my like my example about you know you can't get a job without experience but you don't have the experience of how you're going to get a job it's like the same thing with relationships if you don't have the experience the whole experience in itself is an opportunity for you to grow and experience things and you can grow with a person and walk away with the lessons that you learned and who you want to be in the next relationship and how you want to handle situations going forward 
so it's really about understanding what your expectations are with another person and how to be able to love or just experience people's company and see how they fit in the life that you already have built so you really do need to be self-centered and have your own life and just know anybody coming in is just a compliment to what you already have going on not someone that's trying to fill a void that you have um, and then also just overall having confidence and the ability to give yourself reassurance is definitely a key component to any type of intimate relationship or just relationships in general and that's what a lot of people will find attractive so I would definitely say like you have to be able to explore things and be comfortable with who you are and that makes things way more enjoyable just developing chemistry and learning how to develop that within yourself so that you know how it feels when you actually like somebody or if it's just you feeling insecure or alone and trying to fill a void um so ultimately it depends what you're looking for because not everybody wants to have a relationship but i feel like you gotta make that decision from an honest place and not feeling pressured by like everybody around me has relationships or starting families what am i doing wrong or why am i not there yet or if you decide to be single and you still have that companionship being comfortable with that choice as well too like being single by choice or being in a relationship by choice and then just honoring your wants and needs and not having to disregard those who don't meet that criteria and you just um yeah, not having to judge what anybody wants, but still like validating your own wants and needs. Um, but yeah, all of that was just to say like you don't have to be ashamed about being single. You don't have to be ashamed about being a virgin. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to change anything. Like you're perfect the way you are. Um, and we were born one whole complete we might not feel it all the time but it's our natural state to be love and yeah you don't need to do any of these things or have any of these experience in as a condition to feel loved and accepted you get to choose to feel loved and accepted despite who's in your life, who's sleeping with you, who's not sleeping with you, who rejected you, whatever it is that you've experienced. You get to be whole and complete 24-7, 365 days of the year. And these are just some thoughts that I've been having lately because it's like, at first I thought relationships served the purpose of, you know kind of showing you that worth that love like you needed that as a condition in order to feel this vibration this energy of love especially just in life in general but then after going through such a long period of not being able to have those experiences it is just like this this can't be a condition to feel love like you should be able to experience being in the state of love with regardless of who's around and unfortunately for me I had no choice but to learn that because not having friends or social life and not having people who were consistently showing up showing affection and care you had no choice but to recognize that love has to be more than that it has to exist in some form or some shape or form right now and I'm just not seeing it so the biggest lesson for me was understanding that love has no conditions love has no requirements you don't have to do anything to be good enough for love it's just who you are but if you're continuously focusing your attention and your awareness on the, the absence of love then of course that's how you're gonna perceive life so it's really being able to step into this perception that love is in everything like life and us in general we're love in action now obviously when we have these filters of guilt shame fear not being good enough or whatever other negative beliefs we contort love we filter love through those experiences and that's how we end up seeing these negative outcomes and these undesirable situations. But when you remove those filters and you let go of all that baggage, all that negativity, you get to see love and express 
ah, you get to see love expressing itself for what it truly is. So love has the power to transform everything. It has the power to dissolve any issues. It really just wraps you up and it just feels like this warm, complete, whole feeling. So if you're in a state of doubt, negativity, you know, feeling unloved because of the experiences or the lack of experiences in your life, love has the ability to dissolve that and make you feel whole and complete. It gives you that peace of mind to allow you to see the love that's always been there. So I don't want this to get too long because it's already, what, 26 minutes. But um, yeah, this is just kind of been my thoughts on these ideas because when I've been going through those phases and just reflecting on who I was in those particular states and who I am right now, it just made me want to let go of shame and fear once and for all. Like just having that self-acceptance is like the most comforting, most peaceful thing that you could ever ask for. And that's really just my goal to live life from that place of acceptance and no longer judging things in any type of negative way. And at first it takes practice, but once you focus your awareness on that long enough, it becomes the new norm of just being in this place of I'm in love with life, therefore I'm just experiencing all these wonderful things, wonderful people, and not having so many expectations that end up causing you to project the undesirable things into your future and not allowing you to be present in this moment. It just really takes away thing, takes away from your quality of life. It makes you feel like you're not looking forward to things or just life is such a drag and you're doing the same thing day in and day out. No, like it's time to romanticize your life. It's time to just genuinely unapologetically love yourself so that you could allow more loving experiences 